Hello everyone and welcome to Chicken Pops. My name is Hen and this is my channel where I build things in The Sims most of the time. Once in a while I deviate from the norm and I throw in a creator some video or two just to spice things up a bit. Now if you've been here before, welcome back. You guys know the drill by now, but if you are new here, welcome in. Glad to see you. Grab yourself something to drink, whether it's coffee or tea or a bottle of your favorite soda or even just a glass of water, it's all good. And once you have your drink, have a seat, sit back and relax and enjoy today's video. So today I decided to do a shell challenge that was put up by a lovely lady named Chandra. Her gallery, oh, her gallery ID is Chandra S. If you want to go have a look at her amazing builds and I will be sure to put her ID in the description as well in case you're unsure of how to spell her name. Now this shell that she put up is also a pretty special one because Shun put it up to celebrate her birthday. And my friend Lorraine is going to have a special tour day where she will look at all of the submissions in her Twitch stream. So if you want to join Lorraine's community, there is always a link in my description box so you can come and hang out with me and my group of friends there. If you do come in, <laughs> make sure to bring your best and weirdest and dirtiest jokes and puns because the challenge to us in stream is usually to see who can make Lorraine either die of embarrassment, uh, you know, laugh out loud in shock or glow bright, bright red in general. So it's, it's a fun time. Okay, so about the shell, uh, luckily I didn't find this too challenging. Uh, when I looked at it the first time, when I recorded it for the first time as well, it gave me classic little Simsy Blue Suburban vibes, you know, with its general shape, but I scrapped that idea and I moved the whole thing from Newcrest into Brindleton Bay and started over. So I put some face brick all over it and added some black doors and windows to it with the black tin roof and some black roof trim. I seem to be gravitating to those to those colors in a lot of my builds recently. English is hard. I, I, I don't really know why I gravitate to those colors, but I just think it feels very clean and homey and classy all at the same time. And the overall look of the house also feels like a modernized farmhouse because of it. Now, while editing the video, I decided to leave out the parts where I made the floor plan for the most part because that came together very, very quickly. And you guys will see the results of the floor plan during the furnishing of the house anyway. I did keep most of the furnishing uh, part of the house in and I only cut out the bits where I was sitting and contemplating my next move and the camera was still and nothing was going on. Uh, so I also cut out the furnishing of the laundry room that I put in because, you know, it's it's just, it's plain boring. It's a laundry room. Now, when I was doing the build, I started working on the kitchen first and the counters from Dream Home Decorator actually came in really, really handy. I liked the blue color. Uh, it was perfect for the space. I also um, put in the gas cooker and the oven from Dream Home Decorator as well, but I do tend to use that cool kitchen stuff back fridge a lot. Uh, it just, it looks a lot more normal, you know, like like a real fridge to me than any of the other ones that we have in game. I also kept, oh, good grief, English. <laughs> I kept clutter to a minimum in the kitchen and actually the whole house uh, because I don't want anyone with an older computer to struggle with any lag if they do decide to download it from my gallery. If you do like this house, uh, my gallery ID is the same as my YouTube handle, so that's Chicken Pop Sims, all one word, but that's just if you're interested to download it. And then from the kitchen, I moved on to the dining room area where I used the glass top dining table from Base Game. And I also added the Chase from Cats and Dogs expansion to give the dining area that country feel that I think the house sorta of has. Now, while I also put down the carpet and I know it's it's hard to maintain uh, underneath the dining table because it does get dirty, I just think it's sort of defined the space. And then I also put in the painting from City Living and then a plant in the corner just to also give the space a little bit of life. I also thought adding an island would be a good idea, so I first put it in at an angle to begin with. But then I thought it might cause some routing issues, so I moved some things around and I turned it into an L-shaped peninsula instead. Okay, so here I am adding the clutter. I'm also going to add some blinds in the end. And then after I'm done with the kitchen here, I'm going to move on to the living room. Now, the rules for the shell challenge were that you are not allowed to change the walls and one of the rooms had to be in the color purple. So 
This is where Dream Home Decorator really came to the rescue with some purple swatches. Um, the, the couch that I ended up using is one that I also use way, way, way too often. <laughs> Um, but once I got that in, I also decided to use some curtains from the Seasons pack. You'll see that in a minute. And then I also used some base game paintings with a jazz theme because I hardly ever used those. And I thought that, you know, it really fit the space really, really well. And then after I, I put those paintings in, I also thought it would be important to have a radio or a speaker in the house so that you know these people can listen to the jazz music that they like so much so i put down an industrial bookcase um near the stairs and then i placed the speaker on top of that also that dream home decorator rug that i put down just now was an absolute lifesaver because i couldn't find a rug <laughs> that really matched well with with anything else in the room okay so here I go I'm gonna put down the shelf and there's the speaker that I told you about so moving on to the entrance I wanted to keep it looking clean and classy the base game side table that was patched in not too long ago in blue looked pretty good against the walls so I just put a mirror above that with that wicker basket plant from cottage living next to it with some curtains and a few clutter objects and yeah it, it looked pretty nice and then after that we get to the coat rack and the umbrella stand those are objects that are also add in pretty much every build of mine don't ask me why i don't know it just <laughs> it sort of happens automatically and then something else i thought that was important would be adding an ottoman so that when you leave the house you have somewhere to sit and you know put your shoes on and stuff and also throw all your things in a bag before you get out the front door and then moving on to the downstairs bedroom um dream home decorated to the rescue once again I used that double bed and side tables and matching swatches and paired that with the curtains we got from the free kit. I keep, I keep on forgetting that kit's name, but the green swatch for those um, matched the bed pretty, pretty well. I also thought that, you know, that the area needed a salt lamp for a homey touch and also that basket with the blankets for a homey touch. I also had to add the dream home decorator painting and a mirror just to sort of finish up the space uh, getting to the downstairs oh good grief downstairs bathroom i gave that room two doors so guests can use the space uh, and if you're sleeping in the downstairs bed you can have a semi-private bathroom close by i also added the shower and tub combo from parenthood and then the bathroom sink toilet and mirror from seasons and also the toilet room from base game i still like that one don't judge me i also used that little trick <laughs> i learned from some other simmers uh, where you use that shelf from Dream Home Decorator because I had some trouble placing the soap in the right spot with, with the nine key. So final touches to the bathroom are the towels there, some curtains for privacy, although in Sims privacy isn't really a concern, people don't peek in your windows, and then obviously a laundry basket for the looks, and then I used the toilet mat and bath mat from the bathroom clutter kit as well. Uh, moving upstairs, I used the landing for a little study area. The desk from high school years fit really, really well as well as the bright fuzzy chair. <laughs> I think it looks really comfortable and I, I, I like it. I also added some books onto the desk so there's some easy access to reading material for when your sim is upstairs and wants to enjoy a good book. I also created that little platform area uh, to fill up some space and added some potted plants and card and oh, good grief, not, not candles, candles. <laughs> So I, I think it would be like a really nice little space if, you, if you're working, um, you know, in front of your computer. So I skipped over the furnishing of the laundry room. All I put in there was the washer and dryer and some odds and ends. And then here's a quick little look at the bathroom I did upstairs. It's pretty basic. All you need is a bathroom and a sink and a toilet and a shower. I use all the items from Seasons for this one. So it, it just, it kind of keeps everything cohesive and I like the black and white swatches. And then I also used the color purple as a bit of a theme for the room. Oh, and, and obviously some blinds for like the, the non-existent privacy issues in, in the Sims. Uh, for the children's bedroom, I used mostly tiny living things, as you can see, with the two single beds and the bedside table. 
I also use the dresses from the pack uh, so that each child that will be living in that room will have like their own storage space and also some space for their own little clutter things. I use base game curtains as well as uh, as well as the paintings from uh, was it cats and dogs as well? I think it's cats, cats and dogs, but like it, it looks all clean and basic um, and sort of minimal. And then I also really like the toy box that I put in there. Um, it, it, it also keeps things pretty clean. And also you don't have to worry about your toys being put away um, because like they, they'll, they'll pretty much just be used and lay about to make everything look a little bit more cluttered. And lastly, moving on to the final bedroom, I used a lot of city living items for this one. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I like the futon looking bed in there, as well as the suitcase side table I put in. The colors work really well together. Also put down the city living dresser. It looks good. And my brain said that, you know, all of the same items from the same pack will look <laughs> cohesive. And these base cam curtains are really plain and basic and I like them in grey and they're very very versatile, I use them very very often. Um, so after putting those down, I wanted to give the room some personality so I put down a vase on the dresser and I added that chair from Paranormal Stuff back in white and then the mirror from Parenthood. For the outside I ended up uh, putting in a pool after some deliberation, I didn't know or I didn't think uh, or I didn't know if the house needed a pool because you know the house the lot entirely is is near the ocean but since the oceans aren't really swimmable in all the worlds it ended up being put in any way I am glad I, I decided to do it you know because it, it filled up the space and it gives you some something to do on hot, hot. good grief English is not my first language <laughs> um, I also put in some landscaping at this point uh, I just used some shrubs and trees and I added some ferns and flowers as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And then at the end I fixed up the patio with a few things and, you know, put some aprons in the kitchen and some outdoor lights. And I think that is pretty much it for the build. So yeah, I hope you guys like this build. It will be on my gallery. That's going to be it from me today, everyone. Um, I will be putting some screenshots of the build up at the end, as I usually do, so you can have a better look at everything. I will also include screenshots of the floor plan and layout of the furniture if you want to recreate it uh, in your own game. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate each and every one of you being here, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.